Sean Langdon, the top fuel world champion, joins us in the Pomona press room. How's that sound? I don't think anything would sound any better than that. Man, what a uh, what a journey. The um, to do it out here at Pomona. You know, we were we went into Vegas with an opportunity to clinch the the championship. But I don't I don't think anything could have topped this. You came to this racetrack. You, we talked about it when you won here earlier in the year at the Winter Nationals. You had to watch top fuel cars through the fence because you weren't tall enough to see over it. And now those little kids are watching you win the World Championship in the Mel Yellow Series. Yeah, and you know, just the, the amount of support that um, that that we have, and uh, and a lot of the, you know what what means a lot to me is a lot of the junior dragster kids that come up. And uh, you know they're they're racing and and they come up and say you know hey we, I want to race top field one day and it's just you know what I tell them is that I was I was just like you you know I was just like you 20 years ago well 15 years ago and um, you know just uh, I didn't didn't have anything much more than a dream a, a dream to, to drive a top field car and it's just uh, just my passion for the sport my love for the sport just. Through the ups and the downs, it's just you know I, I had a lot of great people that helped me along the way, and just the, the opportunities that that a certain uh, couple individuals gave me, it just um, you know they they I really owe I, I owe every bit every bit of this to them. Tell me about. Them. Well, the um, you know obviously my parents they they really uh, got me got me my my start my my dad. Uh, he raced when I was a kid, so I, I was out there pushing his car around and, and working on the car with him. And uh, you know, he, he showed me, I mean, from the basics of drag racing, just uh, everything there is to know about drag racing. I'd just sit in the grandstands and I'd watch. And that, that's just that's between my uh, listening to my dad and sitting in the grandstands. That's just where I learned a lot of what I know today. It was just. Uh, just try to learn the ins and outs of the sport, and um, you know, just going through the junior, the junior categories, racing with my father, and then uh, a guy Jack Brown that gave me an opportunity to drive in a super comp car, and uh, and then race with him for a while, and then the Lucas family gave me an opportunity to drive in, in the uh, top fuel ranks, and they gave me my first start, and just you know, and then now with with Shay Callett, he he gave me a call up a couple years ago, and Alan Johnson, the um, they gave me an opportunity of a lifetime that I, I just couldn't pass up, and, and this is, you know, this is the result. You got the call to join Alanabi a couple of years ago. Last season was a little bit of an off year for the entire team. What was the difference between 2012 and 2013? Um, just, just having that little bit of a handle on the race car. We had a great race car last year, but it was, there was just a, uh, just the window of the tune-up was a little smaller. This year, the, the window has is, is gotten to be pretty wide, and, and Alan and, and Brian and, and uh, Jason McCall and Ronnie Thompson from over on the uh, goal team, you know, and, and Nick Peters, my assistant crew chief, they've just worked so hard just uh, through last year, just never given up, and um, even if something didn't work, it's just it's just continuing uh, to build their knowledge, and, and the they never gave up. That was the biggest thing. None of the, uh, the crew guys on both teams. It's just they they followed Allen's lead, and you know Allen's record speaks for itself. You just uh, you have a guy, you have a leader like Allen, and you follow him and you believe in him, and uh, that's what we do, and that's what we did, and we're able to get the championship this year. Put me inside your helmet on that last run when it smokes the tires. At what point did you realize, hey? I still locked the championship because Antron needed to make a great run to beat you. Yeah, and I, I didn't actually think about it until I was turning off the track because going down the track, I was just trying to analyze the run, and it, it left. It felt good. felt like I had a quick shake early, and then it cleared up. So I'm thinking, okay, it's going to make it, and then that's when it went up in smoke. Um, so at that point, you're just in a, a normal procedure state of mind where, you know, try to get the car shut off, try to get the, the car stopped, and then it wasn't until when I made – made the corner that uh, it just really kind of sank in when they, they sent me over to the stage. And then it was just, you, you see the uh, you see Tom Compton over there, and uh, you see the, the big trophy, the big check, and I knew where to go. I see that big check. <laughs>
questions for Sean? Did you daydream? Did it, was it like what you daydreamed about? Uh, okay, if you didn't hear it, the question was, was it like what you dreamed about? Well, you know, it's uh, when you envision winning a championship, you know, I, there's, a, there's a thousand different ways to envision a championship, and every single one of them feels great. So, it, you know, like, like I said earlier, it's just uh, we smoked the tires, so it wasn't, it wasn't a uh, spectacular run to win the championship, but it was the job that we had done prior to that, that w w um, was able to get us to get the job done. And so, you know, we've just had such a great car. But, um, you know, to, to me, the first championship, uh, it, such a great feeling. It, it really didn't matter to me if I drove down the, the track backwards. I just, I wanted to get that championship. When you, I mean, did you did you picture things like standing on the podium and getting? getting the, the, the question is, did you picture yourself standing on a podium hoisting the trophy, being in that position? Yeah, I mean, you always do, and you always well, you know, the, the last four years, um, I've been a part of the competition where where I've, I've watched, uh, um, you know, Antron and, and Larry Dixon and, and Del Warson. I've watched them hoist the trophy for so long, and it's just you always get that. You know, I wonder what that feels like feeling, and um, to be able to stand up there, it's one of the proudest moments of my life. Um, just the, just the, the long road, the long journey, just you know, just everything that I've ever worked for. This is this is a single moment in my life that I've I've worked for my whole life, and just to be a part of a great team, I just I'm very thankful to Shea Khaled and Alan Johnson um, for the opportunity.